After you've created a new Ableton Live project, create a MIDI track and an instance of Massive. Initially, you want to start with a blank canvas, so click Init Patch under the Global tab to initialize all settings. Rather than drawing in a MIDI part, you can make use of the Computer MIDI Keyboard option in Live. You can of course use a standalone MIDI keyboard if you have one, and either will avoid the need to flick between Massive and Live's windows while you work. Activate Live's Computer MIDI Keyboard option here. Now A to L will play MIDI notes C3 to D4, and W, E, T, Y, U and O represent F sharp 3 to F sharp 4. Z and X will change which octave the keys represent, and the current octave will be confirmed in the status bar. Choose the C1 to D2 range as we're working in the bass range of the frequency spectrum. You will learn to make one higher bass sound using the first instance of Massive. Its job is to be heard more than felt, and will be easily variable in tone due to the approach you will learn while creating it. Then we'll cover creating a sub-bass instance to fill out the lower frequencies, which are felt more than heard. To make these separately allows much more flexibility in creating an interesting and animated bass line hook. Then finally, we'll repeat the process learnt to make more instances of higher bass instruments to provide a broader sonic palette when composing a bass line. <laughs>